so awesome. Oh my gosh. And Natasha's garden. I mean, like Beautiful. chickens. There were chickens. I know. And, Very creative. And, recipe and pumpkins too. and cantaloupe. Like, do you have cantaloupe? And cantaloupe and water. And, and corn. And oh corn. My God. I didn't know you could actually like grow cantaloupe. I thought you'd just go to Jewel and buy I mean, I didn't know. <laughs> It was pretty cool. I wouldn't be able to do it. Oh. I'm like, I kill cactus. Oh my like, God. I'm not very good. I kill a lot of things. <laughs> we have a really exciting guest. Oh gosh, I love this next guest because our friend Beth is featured, oh my gosh, Come in this gorgeous magazine. That's not me. And that's, okay, Beth is in this magazine and with us from North Shore Modern Luxury Magazine is Laura, Laura Hine. Hine. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Yes. You feature some amazing women in your latest issue. Tell us about the goal of this issue and about featuring our friend Beth. How much did I have to pay you? I forgot. I know. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. That's wonderful. Um, every September, you know, September is a big fashion month for every magazine. Yes. Um, the modern luxury publications are definitely no exception. So across our 15 cities, all of our magazines, and we have CS, NS, Interiors, Brides, mm -hmm. and Men's Book, but NS and CS do a Women of Style issue every September. So it's one of our most fun Gorgeous. to put together because we get to feature local women who really are very stylish. Including, Including our Beth, Beth Rosen. Rosen. Um, yes. that beautiful? It is a gorgeous shot of Beth. And tell us about working with Beth and featuring <laughs> Beth. <laughs> she no, looks no, let's talk about some other women in here. Well, you know, this every year we, we change the theme slightly. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, people last see year it. It's so we, pretty. We worked with boutique owners yeah. and a, 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 like a favorite client, not a favorite client, but yeah. a client who's super stylish. So that was a little different. But this year, when we got sort of our marching orders, they said, you have to find women who have got like the whole package. Women who wow. not only dress really well, yeah. but have got something going on. Like yeah. they can't just be women who shop. They have to be women who <laughs> do something. So <laughs> it really made it interesting and okay. fun because we, when we like look at everyone's, and the other sort of challenge of this is I can't go to Beth and say, hey, can you send me four pictures of yourself and like who are your favorite designers and blah, 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 what do you do? Because if we don't choose that person, you just feel so terrible. So we kind of do it secretly. Like ah. we will ask um, other women that we know, we ask a lot of people who do, do the benefits, who organize yeah, the big yeah, benefits yeah. in Chicago and on the North Shore um, for their recommendations. We go back through benefit pictures. Beth came to us because um, one of our writers knew Beth and was like, I have this woman who's a host on Chicago East Live. She's got like everything going on. <laughs> and every time I see her around town, she looks so fabulous. So that's sort uh -huh. of how we get our list together. And you know, it's it's really a fun issue. And it, it was so fun. And it, I got to tell you, it was such an honor. And all of my cameramen here, usually when they see me, I mean, even when I slept in this morning, John's like, oh, I hope she's going to put some makeup on that barn. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're in the work mode and everything, it, it's hard. And so I think they were all kind of shocked. They're like, oh, a woman of style. But you guys were so great. And not only that, but uh, the way the issue was put together and the other women that I met that day were so amazing. I was like so intimidated. I'm like, wow, I'm going to be in with this girl and Marianne Murciano and some of the other girls that you feature are all amazing. Yeah, all amazing. And we got to shoot at Writers Theater, which is the new building in Glencoe. It's so stunning and beautiful. Yay. And they were just gracious in letting us use the interior space and the balconies. And so that made it fun too, didn't it? Just to be able to be inside you know, that. Sort I'm of not inspiring. surprised. I think she's very yeah. stylish. She I, always says yeah. she's not, but I think she is. So stylish everywhere, you know, she could be like torn up jeans and she looked good. But I hate that it's in our office every day because now when <laughs> we say, look at that, like Gail Gann with the James Beard Award. So if we say, well, that's what you're wearing, all she's going to do is like hair. Really? <laughs> that's the reason I'm a woman of style. Right? So, come on. She's walking around there proud. But I mean, we are so proud of her. She always yeah. looked good. I, you yeah. know, wherever she goes, she looks great. And okay. Laura is so awesome. She has so much in her life going on. And we had a great time just chatting about about our kids, your kids are That's so amazing, and what you've accomplished in your life. I mean, they could do a whole issue on you, but the issues 
and North Shore and the whole line of them are so good because you get to see all the charities are, that mm -hmm. are going on. It really keeps you informed about Can what's going on. Can you name some of the other women that are in there as well? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah. So Miriam Murciano is um, the woman who's on the cover. Yeah. She used to be at... She used Fox to be at Fox, Fox, and she also I don't know this radio, radio. WGN oh, radio. Wow. Now I think she's doing um, WLS. She's yeah. doing a little fill short in. fill yeah. in thing there, yeah. and she has her own um, website wow. called Suzo's Fork, which is yeah. amazing. Um, she her heritage is Cuban. She realized that whenever she and Bob went on the radio or TV mm -hmm. and talked about food, that they would get like this huge response from viewers. People would be on their Facebook page. So she started this website. Um, we also have Kendra and Brittany, who, Kendra is the owner of Royal Travel, which she mm. bought from her parents, and I love that story, Aww. like she decided to continue the family business, this luxury travel, and Brittany works with her, and they are two women from Winneka who every time you see them, you're like, ah, they look, they look awesome. fabulous, <laughs> fabulous, fabulous. Um, Teresa Washington is kind of new to Glencoe, she moved here from Ohio, she was a boutique owner there. She moved for her husband's job, really missed the whole uh, boutique thing. Uh -huh. So she started her own, like, four clothing lines. She does wholesale. Wow. She really has got a lot going on. That's awesome. So it's fun. And then um, Renata uh, started a group called Blazin' Babes, yeah. and they're a women's networking group. And they are everywhere. Like, every time I talk to Renata, she's like, we're going to be at Neiman Marcus doing a fashion show. We're going to be here doing a yoga thing. So she's just one of those connectors, and again, no matter where she is, she looks like a million bucks. Well, you really have built a great team. I have to tell you, they were such a pleasure to work with. Yeah. Everybody was so nice, and I kept begging and begging for airbrushing, and they did. <laughs> so thank you, team. I said when when we go, when I go, you're having um, a night, a real reveal night, or a, what right, is we're it? having? It's an issue launch party, and, so uh, we're having that in the uh, week. Week and a half. Yeah, yeah. and I know some of the girls here have signed up to go, oh, and good, I, I need good. to RSVP. Oh, please RSVP. I'm gonna come. <laughs> but um, even if you don't RSVP, we will let you in the door. We will not say uh, no. You'll say you look just have to be page. like, uh, yeah, I'm in here. <laughs> Congratulations to you Thank too, you. and awesome. everything that you're doing for the magazine. What's next and exciting coming up for you? So right now I'm in the middle of holiday. So tomorrow and Friday um, we are shooting all our whole holiday feature. So we'll be all about you know uh. Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah. And <laughs> it's so yeah, much to do. It's very for we're always a few seasons ahead it seems but it's, it's a lot of fun. fun it's a great magazine yeah. and I, I, again i thank you and meeting the women and meeting you actually was such a wonderful That's the best part of bonus. my job is the people i get to meet i'm sure you guys feel the same way about yes. this yes yes and and amazing there, people right? and actually i have to say that when i got called for this i thought that i had a month to get ready <laughs> and it was not it was like a few days so i had to I uh, call my personal trainer, which I don't have one, but I said, how can I, whatever. And um, then I called a good friend of mine who is an excellent stylist, and she's going to be coming she's up awesome. next, Nancy Gupta. And I called her up, and I knew that she would be able to pull together the wonderful dress that I have and, and some beautiful. other ones. It looked great. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's such so an thank honor. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Laura Hine, everybody. And everybody gets an autographed copy. No, I'm yes. kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm it's kidding. beautiful. <laughs> We're so proud of you. No, it, it was really cool because I got to feel like, you know, I'm the oldest bit uh, the oldest one in the, um, in the magazine. It's okay, we're online, you can say that one. You know, so um, I said, you know, I'm the oldest one, take a little pity on me, and, and they did. But I want to introduce you to Nancy. We're going to move the camera over there. Yeah. And real quickly, so we what, all need is help. she mic'd, or do I need this? This is my first show. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> Nancy. Yay. Nancy was my stylist for the um, magazine for the shoot. And you are always, talk about a woman of style, you're always Aww. dressed to the T. You always look amazing. And I knew who to call. Did we have this and I called thing? you. So Thank Nancy God. is doing like a fall preview for us. Yes. Yes. Thank you, first of all, for having me back to Chicago Nista Live. And congratulations on your well deserved. Um, recognition. You, no, you no, no. Let's talk about back. this. Come on. Okay. 
Let's talk about fall. Tomorrow is the first day of fall. Oh, wow. Um, and I want to highlight a few of the important trends. Um, if you take a peek at the rack, you might guess what the first one is. Let's see. The colored navy. Oh. Okay, navy is very big. Um, you can pair it with um, any other color that you might normally wear black with. So I've picked out three of my favorite navy jackets. This is the first one, a bomber jacket by ALC, which I love. Wow. Um, when I was here last summer, I talked about the emergence of the bomber jacket, and mm -hmm. we're seeing a ton of these for the fall. Um, underneath, a lace, this beautiful <gasps> lace turtleneck, um, which is another big trend for the fall. Um, and I love pairing it with, you know, when you have a top that maybe feels a little um, dressier, pairing it with something um, completely opposite and unexpected, like a distressed jean. Those are very love bad. That together. <laughs> That is yes, so gorgeous. Is Beth. You know, I, but I can see your size. I knew it. Yeah. It's it's um, hard for me to get over the navy and the black. I That's know, like really hard for me together. to get over, I, but I, I trust Nancy. <laughs> it is easy to mix together. And you're also going to see a lot of I put this with a um, saddlebag, which is one of the new silhouettes that they're showing a lot of this fall. Um, and I love when um, you're in the skinny jeans with um, a little booty. These are um, booties with a shearling wrap that actually can come off, ah. and you can put it on different. Where clothes. where does somebody get that wrap? <laughs> I'm just well, I'm just asking. Where would somebody get this wrap? You can call me. These are my wraps that I design. They're really fun. <laughs> Nancy is also a designer. She has a company called Wrap, and do you have some on her feet I have too? Some feet. And th these are her designs. Ah. So I'm just a little plug. Oh, cool. Okay. For the um, one of the next big trends is the menswear look. Oh. Um, so you're going to see a lot of pantsuits um, and a lot of fabrics that are typically menswear-like, um, a lot of texture tweeds, herringbone, um, and pinstripes. And I, here I mixed a pad, the patterns, which I love. Love this wow. cropped check pant with the striped blouse. The trick when you're mixing patterns is to have at least one constant color. So here, this is navy. We went for the all-out menswear look, pairing this with a little slip-on loafer. Um, you can also wear it with a tie-up lace oxford that you're seeing a lot of to dress it up a little more, even a pump. And Nancy, to top off the whole <laughs> look, is this updated fedora. I totally thought of you when I found you did? this. I'm hoping you're going to model it for me because I, I know how great you I look in know. hats. I don't know. You Come on, Nancy. You know I'm not a hat person. You're so cute. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to see this on WGN? <laughs> yeah. When you do one of those outside segments. Yeah, like the Don't Be Stupid, wear a hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's very cool. Great idea. Um, and the last amazing jacket that I found, I'm obsessed with this velvet blazer by Frame. Um, it feels so luxurious. And I paired it with um, newer pants. Whoopsie, Whoops. one of these wide leg. Um, oh, I pants. love that whole I outfit. Know. That's so One with cute. a little ankle boot. Um, a lot of I layers. There are a lot of layers. A skirt. And where did my over-the-knee boots go? Here they are. They're oh, so tall. Oh, wow. Look at those. A pair of over-the-knee boots. I love this pair by Vince so, because the heel is... Uh, are those just in my size, Bunny? Any, any chance? These are actually in my size. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are gorgeous. are coming so now we can look cool when wait we go I see there. something on those boots over there what what would oh, this be is another set of wraps that's so <laughs> cool and this is cool too right the tote and Which I want to mention Nancy is phenomenal and she did help me put that look together for North Shore magazine you. if you need to reach out to her and you need any styling Please let us know. But you're doing a fundraiser, yes, uh, a great fundraiser next week. Can you tell us quickly about sure. that? Sure. Thank you for mentioning that. We're doing um, a fashion show next week with uh, Bloomingdale's Old Orchard uh, next Thursday, September 29th from 6 to 9 p.m. It's a free event. All you have to do is RSVP to me. Um, and we have a, um, a little fashion presentation in the middle. Um, it's during their friends and family promotion. So uh, most of the merchandise is 25% off. And Bloomingdale's is very generously donating 10% of the proceeds from the sales that night to the University of Chicago for Cancer Research. So we are so appreciative of our partnership with them helping our charity. We're so, so appreciative if you want to know where to get the wraps. And also the other thing quickly is we'll take pictures of all of this so maybe we could put it up on a blog. Sure. Yeah. And sure. perhaps if any's for sale, just let me know. Yay. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. I love that maybe. I love 
navy. And I love that you can pair navy with black, that it's okay. So we can mix and match whatever's in our closet, basically. I like Such that. a great event that, to go to this September 29th. Yeah, I have another event. Anyways, Speaking of events. What? Well, we have someone here to talk about events that oh, are yeah. happening in the city. You're right. That's such a good segue. That's right. <laughs> so Michelle, who's our chic, chic insider here, come on down. Woo! You're the next contestant. Okay. So we can't wait to hear uh, so much happening in the city. I don't know how you narrow it all down, but what are the hot events coming up here in Chicago? Well, I'm thrilled to be here, and there are so many hot events coming up. But one I really want to talk about which is coming up in October. It's through Chicago Loop Alliance. It's part of the Activate series. Are you familiar with the Activate no, series at all? No. The Activate series is something, this is the third season that they've done it, and there's six different um, uh, events that they do. This one that we did, um, the one I just went to, was the Activate Taste, Ooh. which was, um, what they do is they take an alley, and then they make a experience out of it with the different senses. So it's sight, taste, sound, and they're very artistic. There's great music, food. Um, if you register in advance, you get a drink ticket, wine or beer, which is really great. Yay. And um, But Chicago Loop Alliance is a wonderful organization. And Michael Edwards is the president. And um, what they're really trying to do is get people to engage and know that the city and the Loop in particular, has so much to offer. Yay. I love that they're doing alleys. I mean, who mm -hmm. would have thought of really getting an alley and doing an event there? I mean, that says a lot about our city. I mean, there's so much good stuff that comes out. That's so creative. It's I like so that. creative. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so they do this, what, every month? Uh, they did six this year, and they'll do six again okay. next season. Cool. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so very cool. cool. When Michelle told us about that, we're like, oh. and what else do you have? It's so cool, because it never ends. Well, then Latino Fashion Week is coming up. Oh, yay. Oh. So that's September 29th okay. through October 1st. And there's a tea at Block 37, and that's going to be fantastic. And um, Latino Fashion Week, it's the 10th year. And I think that... 10th um, year? Wow. wow. We have a very vibrant fashion community, and the designers locally are so exciting because, they're, I mean, they're really, they're creative and mm -hmm. doing stuff that, you know, I, I didn't is expect, picking I mean, up I've on the coast. I mean, I've been seeing the Latin, Latino fashion at Block 37 for the last two years, maybe, but I had no idea it's been yeah. that long. I mean, it's obviously growing. That's great. Oh the God, other thing is... Culinary Fight Club just had their wonderful event. I oh, know. Let Billy it. go. Yay. 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 Fight Club. Yay. We love that group. And Juwan, <laughs> I mean, has done a great job, and you know, you're a big part of that. So. Well, I'm now the new board president of Fight to Feed, and um, Fight to Feed. Twenty percent of everything from the events goes right to that charity, feeding Yay. Chicago's hungry one block at a time. I mean, that's another smart thing too. It's Chicago. Uh, culinary Fight Club, sorry, not Chicago, Culinary Flight Fight Club, they get chefs together and they make those proceeds that goes to Fight to Feed, correct? Am I cool. saying Exactly. That right? The one that we just had at Philly Go was Chicago Grillin'. Unbelievable. And the gal that won, um, Chef L. Traber, I believe her name is, was fantastic. Um, the next one is coming up. It's in October. It's Monday the 17th. And it's Chicago food street vendors. So oh it'll be really neat, oh uh, food trucks. Come but um, yeah, it's four or five chefs, and then they can qualify for the World Food Championship. This year it's going to be in Alabama, and you can win $100,000. All right, we're running Very out of cool. time, so yeah. can you give us a quick rundown of whatever else we have hap coming up? Well, and I think the next thing that you should do if you haven't gone yet, um, there's a great place called Ace Bounce, which is right in the loop. Close to here, it's a ping pong place, but also has a James Beard Award chef winner. Yay! And um, it's a great place to just go, um, play some ping pong, have a few drinks, and unwind and relax. Yay! Very cool. That's Thank like you so, so much. much. And we have so you many you. great places. That's Thank Michelle. You. I love yep. her. She's inside. She's she inside. Yeah. Thank you. We Thank, love you. Her. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know what? We haven't even mentioned the event happening here at we Spain. are <laughs> we are we're still going to mention so we have the ultimate ultimate night oh are you talking about the event tonight 
Women driving oh excellence. Oh my God, women driving excellence, leadership <laughs> collaborative. We have so much events coming up and I'm going yeah. ahead of myself, but that's tonight here at Space where right. we have Anupi Singla and Debbie and Lilly Deb talking Lilly. about personal branding. So for you guys, I hope you guys will stay. It's gonna be a phenomenal More night. More empowerment for women. Empowerment. <laughs> but, uh, October 26th. Do we have time for our hot topic at all? Well, yes. let's just, well, maybe. October 26th, though, Women's Night. All of you, we want you guys to come to oh, Girls' yeah. Night Out. So yeah. we're hosting that event. So we're hosting yes. a movie called Keeping Up with the Joneses. And so there's going to be questions and answers. So it's going to be exciting. It's it a will new be fun. city. I'm staying so up way theater. past my bedtime to do it. So <laughs> we will have fun. We're going to move our hot topic to next month. I know MJ wants to talk about oh, we, Gadget, Gadget Envy. envy. But we'll oh talk about that next month. But real quickly, I want to go back to flat out bread. Yes. Hashtag flat out love. See, this is an example of what Bon Manger made. Real quickly with some leftovers, she's able to make a beautiful sandwich. So go to Mariano's <laughs> and Jewel's. I and you know what? They're our sponsor. And, yeah. and we appreciate it because without them, you guys wouldn't be sitting and here. And you will love them to too because look what they got for you. We have everybody who has a flat out friend. Everybody's getting a flat out friend. So thank you so much to Flat Out Bread. Please follow hashtag Flat Out Love and continue sending your inspiration, Chicago inspiration, and you got to see what's going on. And next also, month if you're up. tweeting along at home, so just you may be getting some Flat Out yeah, Bread too. You. So keep tweeting hashtag Flat Out Love and Chicago Nista Live. You know what? With Hot Topic, by next month, the iPhone 7 will be old news. Right. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> And then I want the uh, the, the next one, phone after yeah, that. Yeah, the eight might but, be talked about the by eight. then. So but hopefully everyone's updated to iOS 10, which has lots of cool tricks. Look at that. Everybody's getting their flat out love. Thank <laughs> you so much. But, I mean, really, Gadget Envy. The yeah. reason why I brought up Gadget Envy, Envy is because, because I'm dying to get my watch. I know. She's getting an Apple Watch, I'm finally. getting my Apple Watch. And, you know, with the update for software, I mean, even the first gen is much better. And I've been bugging our, you know, our Apple uh, guy here, Jason, who I bug every single time. Like, when <laughs> do you think am I getting my Apple Watch? I know. It's hard You'll to, love like, it. You'll I, love it. I just love it when people talk yeah. about it and I just want mine. I have to, so. you know what, a really cool feature real quick because we have two minutes. Um, the watch now stops you in the middle of your day, twice a day, and oh. it'll say, yes. just breathe. Really? And it will lead you through a one minute breathing exercise and it, it has really changed me in the last two days where I actually stop working if I'm not on the air. Um, <laughs> that would be awkward. And it, on, it leads you through a one minute, you know, inhale, exhale. Really? And when does it come? You. I mean, do you time it? Do you actually say? I think it just happens like two or three times a day. Does it and you know can, when you're stressed out or? I don't, it gives you the heart rate. And it just leads you through one minute of breathing. And you know what? I like I like that. You know I what? didn't like making me stand, though. Please stand. I have a question. Like, I mean, I have a favor, because I'm not getting the Apple Watch. You are. But when it tells you to breathe, will you just text me and tell me to breathe? <laughs> will, you be my, will you be my little extension? Don't forget hey. to breathe. <laughs> Beth, it's telling me to breathe. OK. Uh, Femme City, thank you so Yay, much. Femme City. Uh, we want to meet all of you. Because I see a bunch of future guests on our Yay. show. Thank you to our audience for coming. We have some people driving out from the suburbs. Natasha, <laughs> I want some fresh eggs and cantaloupe. And, uh, and October 26th, girls' yeah. night. It's not all women. We yeah. have guy friends too, right, Sammy and All right. Anthony. Make it a great month. We'll thank see you, you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>